Are we gonna, are we gonna, are we gonna, are we gonna are we going shirtless? Are we? Because I've brought some body paint, so are we gonna get. <laughs> Gabriel say, aka the truth, checking in at Ironworks. And this guy that you see behind me in the red top, you might recognize him. Matt does fitness. You might have heard his dry, humorous jokes. But I'm here at Ironworks. We've met up for a little collab. And I'm going through the first half of this session is going to be going through powerlifting sessions. So five sets of three on the squats, going to be doing some speed pulls and some deadlifts. And I'm gonna take him through a still the bodybuilding style workout on back and biceps. Woo! There he goes. He's got 207.5 on the bar, five sets of three. Dude's strong though. Seen him squat 230 before. and I am a power lifter. Um, now, I used to be um, a track and field athlete. I used to do a long jump, a triple jump, but I injured my back about two years ago now. Um, so, bizarrely enough, I became a power lifter. Now, it's funny because my back doesn't hurt. I can squat and deadlift really heavy and it's absolutely fine, so that is a sport for me. Now, um, I started lifting seriously at the start of last year, so kind of January time. I did my first competition in November. Um, and I'm building up now towards the British Champs, which are in October. Um, now, when I did athletics, uh, I competed in the triple jump, so that's ultimately my goal. I want to try and get to that international level. I've still got a long way to go. Um, there are some absolute monsters out there in the powerlifting world. But it, it's coming together, it's coming together. I'm making some good gains. Um, and yeah, I may say, okay, but we've done, done a, little bit, a little bit of squatting. Um, and we're going to do some kind of bodybuilding type stuff in a bit, which Gable's going to take over on because that's obviously a specialist area. Um, so it should be fun, let's see what happens. No way it's time to do. It's time to unleash the beast. It's that time. Well, in all seriousness. Oh. between bodybuilders and powerlifters. I mean, as soon as I've got my breath back, I'm pretty much ready to go. But they're looking for maximum output everything, every single rep, I guess. So, so it's just different. But it's good to experience different things. And he does it every time before he starts his rep. It's quite cool. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, so we were just saying, like the big, one of the big differences between bodybuilding and powerlifting is that, <laughs> obviously it's more, generally speaking, powerlifting, you're going to be lifting heavier, and there's a big emphasis on quality. It's got to be quick, it's got to be powerful. You can't just kind of hammer the sets out. So I'm taking a good three to four, probably more four minutes of recovery here where I'm lifting heavy. Whereas obviously Gabriel was used to going a lot less because he's kind of blasting through his sets. Um, so it is, at times you are kind of standing around. You know, you'd be in the gym for two hours, an hour and a half, two hours, and you think, I haven't really done much because you spend a lot of time just sitting around. Um, but that is, that is the nature of the sport, you know? So you need some stuff to do in between. Like use your phone, I don't know, book. 50 Shades of Grey, that's my favourite at the moment. That kind of thing it comes in handy. Feels yeah, good, I just don't want to push it too far. So. I have to make sure my ego is left in the door. <laughs> don't do anything stupid for two weeks. Yeah, it's, it's, this is a crucial point where the grind has to start, so yeah, just be sensible about it. And enjoy myself and learn something new. Now, what we're doing here, um, we're alternating, we're doing some speed deadlift. So, well, I've dropped the weight right down, so it's literally 50 or 60% of my one rep max, so it's very light. And it's only, I'm, I'm doing sets of three, so it's not it's not very tiring at all. It's very different to bodybuilding type stuff. Like you can do this and feel like you've done nothing. But the idea is, you're pulling the weight as fast as you possibly can. You're, you're making that contraction as quick as you can. And the theory is that in order to be strong, you've got two elements. You've got your overall strength, so how much force you can you can create, how much how much weight you can move, but you've also got the, the speed of your, of your muscle contraction. So how efficient is your central nervous system? So by doing these speed pulls, you're teaching your nervous system to contract incredibly quickly. And when you combine that with that overall strength, that, that's when you get the big lifts. So it's, it's very easy just to, you know, if you're lower, just take so much away. Whereas this you can't because you're so low and your spine's neutral. Like when I, when I was pulling conventional after every session, and this is my fault, but after every session, it would be in my lower back. That's what I feel. Whereas pulling so much, hamstrings, quads, like uh, hamstrings, glutes, like a duck, it's like you feel so much more. Just straight away, as soon as I did the uh, it's almost like someone pinpointed all over my hamstrings the weakness. <laughs> It's crazy, everything just felt everything firing, so I need to include it. Alright guys, so now on to part two. I've taken part in the powerlifting session. Now I'm gonna put Matt through his paces on the bodybuilder star session. We're only gonna do about three exercises, maybe two on back, one on biceps. Um, but the intensity is gonna be there. Intensity, big time. Intense. Are we gonna are we gonna are we going shirtless? We because I've got some body paint, so we're we gonna get to <laughs> I've got some grease too. Okay, <laughs> that's it, we're going, we're going. Just getting warmed up. So basically, this is just to warm up. Um, yeah, 15, 15 reps. I don't normally count this, how many reps I'm doing. I just wait until you get to a point where the muscle just goes ding, and it's like, yep, yeah, I'm ready. So I think I hit maybe 17, 18. I'm, done. I'm going home. <laughs> Let's get the weight on. Triple drop set. Actually, it will be double. Or the whole down the line. Yeah. Right. So we're all the way down. Might as well. As many reps as possible. We're not rep counting.
damage came from the damage. <laughs> Time under tension reps. Not too heavy, and it's just focusing on four seconds all the way down, get a full stretch, and then four seconds all the way back up. No pause at the top, and then straight back down. Forces you to really contract the muscle as opposed to using momentum to just kind of shift it. So if you're looking for those big arms and you want that strong peak, these work wonders. These work wonders. Alright, so that's it guys, powerlifting meets bodybuilding with yours truly, Matt Does Fitness. Check out his channel, link in the description, link on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, until next time, peace. Now we're going to go out to the back um, and Gabriel's going to rub some baby oil on my forearms because they're an absolute mess. This won't be filmed, um, but if you go to, uh, put a comment in the, in the comment section, say I want to see the x-ray footage and we'll try and send it over to you. <laughs>